50 years ago today, on August 28th, one of the largest political rallies for human rights in the United States history, it shook our country and moved our many leaders to act. And 250,000 participants crowded the National Mall, crying out for jobs, crying out for justice. Dr. King closed the crowded National Mall, crying out for all these injustices. And he did that in his famous, I have a dream speech. Those words have come to life in our neighborhoods, our schools, our community centers, and now that is reflected in the beauty of the people of different backgrounds working and living and playing together right here in Multnomah County. Those cries moved the nation under the leadership of Martin Luther King Jr. Despite tremendous gains this past 50 years, we all know that there is still more work to do. Today, African Americans, we suffer from huge health disparities. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that we are the racial and ethnic group most affected by HIV in the United States. According to the Office of Minority Health, African American women have the highest rates of being overweight or obese compared to other groups in the United States. The American Diabetes Association reports that 4.9 million, or almost one in five African Americans aged 20 years or older have diabetes. That makes them nearly twice as likely to have diabetes as non-Hispanic white Americans. As you know, these statistics, they are very staggering. But I keep so much of the optimism in what we do here every day and in mind when I think about the policies that we develop. How do we better serve our people in our clinics, in our Sun school programs, and in our libraries, in our communities? As I consider how I can best address disparities throughout the community to build on the powerful efforts of the civil rights movement, I view today's presentation as a demonstration of Multnomah County's commitment and dedication to valuing equity in everything that we do. We are joined by a wonderful cross-section of community members who are joining arms with us to talk about how critical it is to have this conversation and to continue to protect the civil rights of our friends, our families, and our neighbors. And they will tell us about the local celebration honoring Dr. King and the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington this Saturday. Thank you for being here this morning. And I think we'll start with you, Dr. Haynes. 